Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and welcome to another episode of WordPress Wednesday. I wanna give you an insider tip today on conversion rate optimization. For those of you who manage your own website or perhaps you have clients out there and they themselves are wondering what's going on with my shopping cart or why am I not seeing all the leads that I need to be getting? Well, I'm gonna give you two quick ideas that might help you be certain to not lose any more leads. You want to absolutely follow these steps to be sure to track your conversion. All right, tip number one. This is specifically for anyone who is looking for lead generation or even e-commerce buying on their website. I need you to go over to your Google Calendar or whatever calendar you use on a regular basis every week. And I need you to set a reminder. Don't do it on the first of the month because a lot of times that has to do with billing. But I would say pick something maybe in the middle of the month, maybe the 12th of the month. And set a reminder, no matter what, have it repeat every single month to check CRO or conversion, okay? And maybe that's your primary call to action, which is buy now, right? Or fill out this form. And maybe you have one, two, or three even different types of conversion points on your website. So maybe you have a newsletter sign up. This is going to be your primary CRO check-in. So check this and it's going to be number one CTA. So whatever that is, whether that's buy now, the most important thing that somebody does on your website, that's what you want to do. And you want to change it to be certain to uh, repeat monthly. And then you also want to have it send you that reminder via email or whatever it might be. You want it to ping and let you know, hey, absolutely send this reminder. I need it the day of save. Now that's going to happen every single month. You're going to see that reminder sitting there on the second Monday of every month or whatever point you put that's going to ping and let you know, Hey, it's time to go check that conversion. So here's what you do. You jump over to your website. If it's your number one CTA, you actually complete that conversion point. So if it's coming in here, looking for a specific product and going all the way through the buy now, you want to be certain that it works properly. And I know this sounds like, wow, I've got to put in credit card information and I've got to go through the entire process. Yes, every single month you need to do that. Whether you give yourself a coupon code or not, that's up to you. But you need to go through the entire process and place the order or check out or fill out the form. You know, if you've got a, a major call to action and it's a lead gen form, I need you to come in here, fill it out, click submit, and two things should happen, right? The website should function correctly, and you should get some sort of a notification as the admin that that has been processed, and you as the customer should also receive that notification back that your commitment or your conversion point has been completed, right? If you're not doing these things on your website every single month, then if you have a slow month, maybe you won't catch the fact that something is broken on your website. So I need you to make a list of what conversion points you have on your website, whether that's your number one CTA, buy now, or click submit on a lead form, or whether you have a phone number that's clickable and you wanna be tracking that, that's another conversion point. So you'll wanna call that phone number and be certain that your answering machine is working correctly or that all of that goes smoothly. You'll also wanna come into your website and click on maybe your social media if you're trying to get people to move over and you're trying to grow your social media accounts. Be certain that these are still functioning correctly, that when you click on them, they go to where they need to go to. At least once a month, you should be working on your website to be certain that all of it works properly, makes sense. I'm also gonna challenge you, the second point is have fresh eyes do this at least once a quarter. I need you to go back to your calendar now and go to at least once a quarter, right? I need you to have somebody new on your team take a look at your website. You need to be certain that they understand what they're supposed to do on the website. 
they need to be able to walk through the whole buying process and it makes sense to them and there's no roadblocks for them. All of that's going to be key to making certain that your fresh eyed customers coming in can do what you need them to do. So tip number one, absolutely go to your website and try it yourself. Go through the process for every single call to action that you have on your website, whether that is add to cart and buy now, or whether that's filling out a form. That's tip number one. Tip number two is going into your Google Calendar or your Office Calendar and setting those reminders so that every single month and every single quarter, you're going back and revisiting this. It's really important that you set these reminders up in your calendar so that you don't forget. The last thing you wanna do is realize too late that you have lost days, weeks, even months of people being able to complete your conversion point on your WordPress website. Hey, if you're a freelancer, I have an entire playlist dedicated right here to you and that conversation because that's what I am. I'm a freelancer as well these days and sometimes we've got to stick together and support each other and let each other know, hey, I've got some resources that might be helpful for you. If you like this type of content, please click like and subscribe. Hang out here with me every single week. I'll see you back next WordPress Wednesday. Bye, y'all.